You know, Pastor Bernard, we are so accustomed on this Memorial Day hearing about people dying in wars and conflicts in different places around the world, but it seems as though the wars are right here in America, whether it's Texas, California, Florida, Buffalo, New York, people are dying for no reason at all, and it is as violent as if they were in a war zone. Give us some understanding. You know, Armstrong, I have mixed emotions today. Yes, we're celebrating Memorial Day weekend. There are a lot of events that are taking place here in the city. We have the launching of Fleet Week, but we're still reeling, Armstrong. Uh, it's just two weeks since the shootings that took place in, in, in Buffalo, New York, and, and then followed uh, on the heels of that uh, by a, a shooting of innocent children. So I have mixed emotions. Uh, I'm trying to balance Armstrong, compassion, and righteous indignation. You know, Armstrong, there's a, there's a universal moral instinct within us that, that condemns the kind of evil that we've seen over the last uh, two weeks. And it's a testimony, of course, to the divine image of God that we all carry as human beings. You know, we're all made in God's spiritual and moral likeness. But uh, Armstrong, you know, it, it, it is a time where we have to reflect on ourselves as a nation. Uh, our thoughts and prayers go out to the families of the victims. How many times have we heard this again and again and again? I know personally, Armstrong, the pain of a parent having to bury their child. My wife and I, as you know, uh, we buried two adult sons. But these are our babies, Armstrong. This is, this is uh, uh, the slaughtering of the innocent. Uh, that, 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 that the Bible talks about. Parents were concerned about their children's safety after school, not in school. So our safe spaces uh, have been invaded by violence, Armstrong, our houses of worship and our schools. These are the pillars of our moral system and the soul of our nation is at stake. We continue to, to sacrifice our children in, in this case because we're not making the kind of decisions and responses that we need and can make. And we're, allowed things to get, we're allowing things to get tied up uh, in special interests and, and, and politics. So Armstrong, um, you caught me at a time where I'm very, very frustrated by what I've seen happen in our nation. Faith is a reason to trust Armstrong and we're losing every reason to trust each other and we're becoming an alienated society. What do you say to the families that grieve the day, the families that hold their children tighter because they have to send their kid off to school now and they don't know if their place will be the next place of this type of massacre. You know, Armstrong, we, we overcome fear with faith, with hope. We must tell our children that they are safe. We must make them feel safe. You know, we've got to tell them it's going to be okay. But we must also tell them that this is the ugly part of humanity, that they must never become and do everything they can to fight against. We must prepare this generation for the kind of trauma that we are experiencing now as a society. We've got to pray for justice and repentance, of course, but we must also use our prophetic voice to hold people, systems, structures, policies that allow or even per perpetuate this kind of violence accountable. Uh, as people of faith, Armstrong, we take courage because in spite of man's abuse of free will, I was on uh, another interview and I was asked the question, why would God let this happen? We have to be careful not to blame God for the actions of human beings. We have the power of free will. And unfortunately, we have individuals in our society who abuse that privilege of free will and it leads to violence and oppression. God is still in control. And in the face of crisis, Armstrong, real faith rises to the occasion because it knows that man's extremity always becomes God's opportunity. Is part of your frustration in the minute that we have left is that you don't see any end in sight? Armstrong, you know, as a civilization, technology, we have advanced incredibly in thousands of years but human nature remains the same. And that's what we've got to contend with. We've got to continue in moral striving and deal with the realities of a broken and wounded humanity. And faith is our only hope. Armstrong, when, when, when young men, these are 18-year-old young men engaging this kind of violence, 
And this violence is an aggression rooted in alienation from God and alienation from each other. We must be reconciled to God and reconciled back to each other. And, and, and as, I, as, I, as we say um, goodbye to Pastor Bernard and all our guests on this Memorial Day, um, um, on behalf of um, WGLA 24-7 Armstrong, we're going to show your voice, your future. Uh, we wish all of you safety because, you know, the best thing you can do, you got to watch as well as pray. You never know where the danger is lurking. And sometimes you can have a firearm like they did in Buffalo, New York, but depending on the body armor they're wearing, it is useless. you got to always have a watchful eye when something is unusual. And also, mental illness, illness is so serious. If you have a child or a loved one, that's posting something on social media and the manifesto is to kill and destroy, please report it. We all have a role to play to lessen the burden of this crisis that many families are feeling today.